All right, so this is the last segment of this uh, uh, DCC install. Um, so it's all back together. I managed to get the decoder installed. It's not exactly where I want it to be, but it's in there, and you can see it through the uh, windows because there's no, uh, it's not tinted out glass or anything like that. Also, I am testing my rolling road. This is my homemade rolling road. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting final video. So let's power up the track. Select the logo. And hit F8 to start it up. So we'll do the bell. Whistle. We'll hit the light. Put it in reverse. All right. Go forward again. And power it up. Well, the rolling road seems to be working perfectly. And they're just sitting on the track. Just the weight of the locomotive. You'll probably see that the boiler is moving a little bit. But since they're homemade, it's not going anywhere. Power it up some more. Without dialing it back, I'm going to throw it in reverse. Okay, so I'm going to pause this, take the rolling road off, and just throw it on the track. 
All right, so as you can see, the rolling road is off and the locomotive is on. And uh, we'll just uh, fire it up to 10. Oh, look at that. A little dirt on the track or wheels. Alright, so that's it. I'm pretty pleased with the uh, performance, and uh, this one I'm going to take to our train show here in October, and uh, with my logging cars, and hopefully everything runs well. Um, I did decide at this time to not do the DCC uncoupling, uh, but uh, there is uh, room for the motor and the spool uh, just on the uh, underside of the coupler uh, draft gearbox. But, um, as I said, at this time I'm not going to do that. So, this is my Mantua Canadian Forest Products, now DCC and sound equipped with LED lights. Thanks for watching.